guys have the same problem as me, but sometimes in Vancouver, I just find myself not knowing what to do for entertainment because it rains here a lot and it's still cold. It's April now, but it's the weather is still cold and it's so wet and everybody seems to close around 5 or 6 p.m. So there's not a lot of things to do after 5 or 6 p.m. Sometimes I would find myself scouring the internet, trying to figure out what other people are doing. Are they watching the latest movie? Are they, are they going to these secret spots that I don't know about? Aside from eating all the time and shopping at the mall, what else can I do? So today I'm gonna share with you some of the things that I found and I really enjoyed. And I'll also share with you guys some pricing of these things as well. Vancouver is not, it's not cheap to live here. So it's sometimes good to know how much things cost before you commit to it. So for example, the other day, I went to watch a movie. I went to watch John Wick Chapter 4. Um, and I chose to watch the movie at Cineplex and Brentwood. So let's say, for example, I'm going to select John Wick, Cineplex, the Brentwood location. Okay, let's say I want to book this one. Woo, it's bright. Okay, so let's say I want to book this one. The VIP seating at Brentwood for an adult is $24.99. And then also if you book online, there's an online booking fee, which is $1.50, non-refundable. And this is per ticket. So if you go as a couple, like on a movie date, you're basically paying $3 for the online booking. One of the reasons that I really like the Brentwood Movie Theater is because number one, it's new. Number two, these are VIP seating. So the seats are huge. Not only are they really large seats, you can move these tables around, you can lean the chairs back, you can order food right at your seat. In fact, the, they have staff that come to your seat to help you order the food and bring the food to your seat as well. All right, the food at the VIP Cineplex is a lot of selection. We're talking like 16 pages of food here. We've got beer, cocktail, there's pizza and tacos, which are really good. They've got these fishbowl cocktails that are huge. They're basically for two people, if not three people to share. Frozen cocktails are really good too. And they have these handcrafted ones and they're made by the bartenders right outside at the bar. You can select from beer, from different types of wine, rosé, red, white, sparkling, all different types of appies, poutines, the burgers, the pizzas, snack food, basically a whole meal. When I was younger, going to the movie theater was the cheap and affordable thing to do, especially if you're going on a date. Movie tickets were probably like five, six dollars at most. Now going to the movie is <laughs> very expensive. <laughs> Um, Here's another fun thing that you could do. This is quite unique. I am not a video game player, but this was so fun for me. This is something called Sandbox VR, and they have only one location in Greater Vancouver, which is located in, in Richmond. And this was amazing. So basically, what these experiences are, you could choose from all these different games, and what I would recommend is that you bring some friends with you because you would be playing with your friends as a team to either kill zombies, um, accomplish different tasks. Okay, so this is the one that I went to. This is called the Deadwood Valley is one of their newest ones. And oh my gosh, it was insane. So what they do is they strap these sensors they give you a VR headset and then there are sensors on top of it and also sensors that are strapped on your wrists and your ankles so they know where your feet and your hands are, where which side your head is turning. You would be able to see the other players that are playing with you. Who's this pizza guy? Oh, pizza guy. You can literally see that we are in an empty room it's just four walls 
nothing on the floor, but because we're all wearing our VR headsets, we can see that we're actually in the game shooting zombies, we can see each other, and the backpacks that we're wearing, they vibrate. They vibrate whenever a zombie jumps on you, or you get hit by bullets or something. See this helicopter in the game? When the helicopter was landing, they turned on fans inside the room that were blowing air at you, and it felt so real. After our 30 minute game, they also emailed us a video clip of our game while we played as if we were starring in the movie. Depending on which game you want to play, you can have between 2 to 6 players and like this one is between 4 to 6 players. So for example, this one right here, you can have uh, 2 people is an extra small team and then you can have a small, medium, large or extra large. We had 4 people. And so that was considered a medium one. There is a slight price difference. It's between $50 to $60 per guest. And this usually is depending on whether or not it's a peak or non-peak day or time of day. When we went, it was over the weekend. So it was $60 a person. It was not cheap, but so fun. It was 30 minutes of non-stop screaming coming from myself and my sister. And <laughs> it, was, it was just very, very fun. This is definitely an opportunity for you to build your friendship. <laughs> and also like a team building is also really important. And this could definitely be something really fun for anybody who's looking to do some team building for, for work and for their office staff, things like that. I will try to not butcher this name, but this restaurant on Commercial Drive called Las Mel La Mezcalela, <laughs> this Mexican restaurant is so delicious. We went and had some tacos, burrito, Oh my gosh, but everything I was looking around, what everybody else was eating was also looking so delicious. So they're located on 1622 Commercial Drive. If you haven't been there, try it out. We were sitting at the bar, which at first I was worried that maybe if we were sitting at the bar, it would be really crowded, but no, it wasn't crowded. And we were right in front of the bartenders making drinks. So I enjoyed my time a lot there. The atmosphere was fantastic, the food was so delicious, the staff were really nice. We were essentially sitting right here in front of the bartender, right at the bar, and had dinner there, enjoyed. It was like an entertainment as well, because when we sat at the bar, we could see exactly how they make the drinks. Oh my goodness, this is what I had. It was so good! Recommend recommendation from the bartender. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I need to order this next time. Food prices for Appies range any from anywhere from about $11, $10 all the way to 23. Main dishes around the 20-30ish mark. They also have some sides that you can add from $2, $3 all the way up to 6. Ooh, the drink menu. The drinks were all really delicious, ranging anywhere from $14, $15, $16 for a cocktail. Ooh, look at this. So the all-day menus, they have got appies ranging from $11 to $23. Oh, what did I order? I ordered two different types of tacos. I had the grilled pork and also the grilled ribeye steak. Oh, delicious. Finding fun things to do in Vancouver really isn't cheap. So it's not like I'm doing this every day. I'm not even doing all these things every week. I probably splurge once a month to go to the movie theater or to go and play a VR game or to go to a really fancy restaurant perhaps once or twice a month. But 
live your life to the fullest. And if you have all these things available within your city, go and enjoy them once in a while. Thank you so much for watching. I'll try to share a lot more fun places to go to and good food to eat in my next videos. And I will see you there.